हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द क्विक मेडिकल रिवीजन सीरीज ऑफ माय यूट्यूब चैनल मेडिकल स्टडी सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज लीवर एंड बाइल एंड इट विल कवर ऑल द एमसीक्यूज जनरली आस्क्ड फ्रॉम द बाइल एंड द एमसीक्यूज व्हिच आर आस्क्ड दोस पॉइंट्स हैव बीन मार्क्ड इन बोल्ड लेटर्स सो गो थ्रू द लेक्चर सो लेट अस स्टार्ट नाउ लीवर एंड बाइल लीवर इज द लार्जेस्ट ग्लैंड इन द बॉडी वेइंग अराउंड 1500 ग्राम्स the functional unit of liver is acinus the portal vein it is most of the time asked in anatomy as an anatomy question that portal vein is formed by superior mesenteric vein and the splenic vein which enters into the liver forms the interlobular veins drains into the sinusoids these sinusoids then drain into the central vein and from the central vein three major hepatic duct uh, hepatic veins arise the right from the right side of the liver from the left side of the liver from the middle of the liver and these three hepatic veins drain into the inferior vena cava the obstruction of these three veins the right left or middle hepatic veins these three major hepatic veins leads to the budd chiari syndrome and the triad for that is abdominal pain jaundice and hepatomegaly so make it clear budd chiari syndrome is obstruction of the major hepatic veins and the triad is abdominal pain jaundice and hepatomegaly and portal vein is formed by superior mesenteric vein and splenic vein also receives the branches from inferior mesenteric vein gastric vein and cystic vein in sinusoids the portal vein as well as the hepatic artery bed mixes up now cuffer cells act like an macrophages they are present in the liver bile is formed in the liver in hepatocytes then from there the interlobular bile ducts arise in, so interlobular these two interlobular bile ducts then right and left main hepatic ducts are formed which out of the liver joins to form a common hepatic duct which joins with the cystic duct and that forms the bile duct and that bile duct joins the pancreatic duct and they both as a common duct opens into the second part of the duodenum at the major duodenal papilla about which i discussed in my previous lecture if three fourth part of the liver is removed liver has a tendency to regenerate it is the only organ which regenerate in body and it can regenerate in 6 to 8 weeks oxygen consumption is maximum in hepatic artery followed by portal vein followed by hepatic vein now some key points in liver functions liver synthesizes plasma proteins mainly the albumin remember this it do not synthesize the immunoglobulins synthesize the other proteins like fibrinogen prothrombin and the factors 5 7 9 and 10 sometimes this question is asked in the mcq that which of the factors are uh, produced by the liver or except what is not produced by the liver so factor 5 7 9 and 10 are synthesized in the liver liver forms the urea from ammonia in the body it synthesizes cholesterol from acetate it helps in glycoid or it does glycogenolysis gluconeogenesis glycogenesis causes the beta oxidation of fat forming the stearic acid from triglycerides and lipoproteins synthesizes bile acids and bile salts from the cholesterol conjugation of free bilirubin bile pigments it detoxify various drugs and stores vitamin a and vitamin b12 now about the bile so bile is secreted in the bile canal nucleus in the liver at a rate of 500 ml per day sometimes the question is asked that per hour how much bile is secreted so you can calculate from this 500 ml per day and in 24 hours this much and whatever is the best option available you can go with that it is alkaline in nature consists of sodium and potassium salts of the bile acid consists of bilirubin biliverdin as bile pigments and lecithin as inactive form lecithin if gets activated as lysolecithin it is a cell membrane damager bile salts sodium and potassium salts of the bile now bile salts are formed by conjugation of primary bile acids and primary bile acids are cholic acid and chino deoxycholic acid and these primary bile acids are formed from cholesterol in the colon these primary bile acids are converted into secondary bile acids as deoxycholic acid and lethocholic acid 
in the liver the bile acids the primary bile acids they are conjugated with taurine or glycine forming the taurocholic or glycocholic acid then they form the sodium potassium salts of the bile so primary bile acids in the colon gets converted into secondary bile acids that is deoxycholic and lethocholic acid primary bile acids in the liver gets conjugated with glycine and taurine form the sodium potassium salts of the bile now out of the total bile which enters in the duodenum 95% is taken back by the liver and that is known as enterohepatic circulation 5% of the bile remains in the duodenum gets converted into secondary bile acids and then those secondary bile acids out of that lithocholic acid is excreted in the stool while deoxycholic acid is reabsorbed so the secondary bile acid which is excreted in the stool is lithocholic acid entire pool of the bile recycles twice per meal 6 to 8 times per day so during the meal there occurs enterohepatic circulation the bile is taken back by the liver so this happens twice per meal or recycles twice per meal now functions of the bile salts they combine with the lipids in the intestines to form the micelles by which the lipids can be easily absorbed they helps in emulsification of the fat and activate lipase in the intestine Uh, generally the question is asked from this that what is the function of bile and there is a emulsification of the fat is one option or there is a micelle formation in the intestine is another option or activation of lipase in the intestine the golden yellow color of the bile is because of the bile pigment that is bilirubin and biliverdin and further said the gluconeuroids of the bile pigments of that is bilirubin and biliverdin give rise to or gives the golden yellow color of the bile so it is in two way if the or if the options consist of bilirubin and biliverdin gives the golden yellow color to the bile then this is the option correct if it consist of gluconeuroids then the gluconeuroids of bilirubin and biliverdin gives the golden yellow color to the bile now the function of the bile remember bile gets concentrated in gall bladder from 5 to 20 folds now bile helps in digestion of fat absorption of fat soluble vitamins neutralization of acid in the intestine and one more secretion which neutralizes the acid in, in intestine is pancreatic juice removes many drugs and toxins and solubilizes cholesterol normal ratio of cholesterol to bile salt is 1 is to 20 or 1 is to 30 when this ratio is disturbed that is cholesterol to bile salt is 1 is to 13 it leads to formation of cholesterol gallstones and this question is most of the time asked in the mcqs the most potent stimulus for bile secretion is bile acids and that is followed by secretin so first potent stimulus is bile acids and second is secretin so thank you so much have a nice day go through the lecture once again and solve the mcqs you will be able to solve all the mcqs thank you bye bye have a nice day